This is the rebound ratio calculator for MathCelebrity.com. To get there, you just type rebound ratio. So our calculator has three entry boxes. The first is the height of the drop. The second is the rebound ratio percentage. And the third is the number of bounces. So when you're all set, you press calculate rebound ratio items. So basically our problem summarized first. The ball is dropped from a height of 16, which you entered here, with a rebound ratio of 75%. After 17 bounces, how far has the ball traveled in a downward motion? So there's two relevant formulas we need. The first is the bounce height at time end, and that's just h times rr raised to the n minus 1, and then the downward distance at time end, which is this. So what we do is we give you a, a table or a grid, so to speak, and we go through each time from 1 to however many bounces you entered, in this case 17. So first we're going to calculate the bounce height, which is here. And then secondly is the downward distance formula. So we do the same thing at each time. So n minus 1, bounce height, downward distance. n minus 1, bounce height, downward distance. And we keep going. Now one thing to note about this column, when we plug in our numbers here and you see the equal, it's actually, this is the simplified version. This is the simplified version of this right here. We just had to save space, so that's why this really equals this. And then this equals this. So if you were to run this through and simplify it, you get this. Simplify it more, you would get this, and that's your downward distance. So that's the same for every time end. So we keep going, keep going, keep going. And we get to our 17th bounce. So the ball has traveled 63.5189. We could say feet in this case, uh, or units of distance at time 17 in a downward motion. So that's pretty much it. The table's really easy to follow. I'll run one more problem for you. We'll change a few of the parameters. Let's say 60%. Let's say we drop it from a height of 13, and let's do 20 bounces. Now we'll press calculate rebound ratio items. So again, we go through time 1 all the way through we enter 20, so there's going to be 20 bounces. We do the same thing, distance, bounce height, and then downward distance. We scroll, scroll, scroll. As you can see, our downward distance keeps gaining. And we get 32.4988. As you can see, as time goes on, the downward distance traveled, the increase gets smaller and smaller. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link here. Thanks for watching.